Hello, um, this is how to two-tick harpoon. As you can see, I'm two-tick harpooning in the video. Um, here is northwest of Piscatorius, Piscorilius, whatever the Zaya one is. Um, I got here with the Book of the Dead, or you can use the mine cards or whatever. Um, and there is a bank that's a little bit east of here. And you can just drop off um, whatever your like your book and stuff like that. And yep, this is this is the method. It's kind of like two tick teaks if you've ever done that in like Prif or Apatol. Um, but yeah, this will net you more XP an hour than barb fishing. Obviously, you're not getting agility and strength XP, but it'll be more fishing XP an hour. And the lure for it is not all that hard um you're basically just using curse or one of those like body rune spells from the normal spell book on these rats seeing you're gonna lure them up and i'll show you that in a second here but the xp per hour is kind of reliant on level so the higher level the higher xp and if you have a dragon harpoon that'll be a lot better xp than a regular harpoon um and obviously infernal harpoon would be good and if you ever want to use your harpoon spec, you want to make sure you turn off your auto retaliate and you can equip your harpoon spec magic sh short bow and then turn auto retaliate back on. But that's basically it. Here is the lure. So we've used these curse spells on the rats. We've lined them up and we're just going to stack them or not going to stack them. We're going to put them so that they're on either side of me. And as you can see, they're not attacking every two tick cycles. They're one after the other so we're just going to step under one right before it attacks or an off ticket and it's going to take a few tries here but you know it's not always going to be perfect the more you do it you're going to get better at it but as you can see they're now two ticks apart as um you know you can obviously see that so whenever that happens we can just click harpoon and there you go it is a little bit tricky sometimes and usually you know It'll take me a few tries, but it's not that bad. And the only issue is that whenever you're moving west, if you have the rats south and east of you, like I do in this clip right here, if you're moving west to a spot west of you, you can just walk normally with your runoff. But if you're walking east with a rat east of you, you're going to have to step one tile south or southeast to that diagonal where there's no rat. And you're in a walk there. And you can see that in one of these uh, clips here. But you have to take one tile diagonal, walk to this spot, walk one tile too far, and then walk to the spot. And it's just going to fit them right in. And yeah, that's basically it. And I thought it was kind of funny while I was recording some of these clips. I don't do this method very often. I've done a, probably a few hours here. Um, I really do like it. It's really fun. I like bar fishing agility XP more because I don't like agility. Um, but as you can see, I'm just practicing the method here and I'm going to drop some tuna. And any second now. Yeah, I got the I got the big harpoon fish in within like 100 catches of starting this method. And the big harpoon fish is kind of rare, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're not... You're going to get a few of these if you do f several hours of this method, but, but I was really, really confused. Oh, yeah, but that's it.